Yeah, I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I put out the tweet last night that, you know what, even though Bruh Season 4 is only six episodes into its 10 episode season, I think that overall it's better than Sister Season 7. I know that's a wild statement to make, and you, you could argue that it might not be a fair assessment because Bruh still has two weeks or four episodes left. But at the same time, <laughs> more than half of the season has been pretty solid. I cannot say the same for season seven. And there's only one episode left. Now, maybe, just maybe, this season finale will tie everything together. Maurice and Grayson, Sabrina's, um, you know, um, motherhood storyline. Whether or not Danny chooses to be with Tony moving forward and so on and so forth. But it seems to me that the episode is mainly focused on all the characters, you know, recounting their grievances recent or, you know, ongoing with Gary. And then the final scene being at the wedding venue and Gary possibly being taken out. So I don't really think there's room for Tony and or his uh, ex-wife and kids to show up, or Penelope. I, I don't know. I just know that from what I've seen of Bruh, I'm just confused because Bruh, like Sisters, has a different set of writers. Tyler Perry did not write this season. There were a group of writers. I don't know exactly how many. I think it's four. But regardless, I'm just sitting here like, so Bruh, in my opinion has these writers who are putting together compelling storylines. It seems like the characters are actually developing. Like, for example, I just finished watching episodes five and six, so it's still fresh in my mind. And also, if you disagree with me, you are free to do so. But the thing is, I don't really think you have room in this conversation if you have not watched Bruh. I feel like that's just a fair assessment. If you have not watched Bruh season four or at the very least the entire series like me, then I don't think you can comprehend what I'm saying. You think I might just be making an outlandish statement just for clicks and views, but that, that's not it at all. I definitely feel like Bruh season four got it right. Season three was the worst season. I did like an hour. <laughs> My retrospective of the season was over an hour long. And I think the video was called Tyler Perry's Bruh, How Bad Was Season 3 Actually? And it was a major step down from Season 2. So to me, you had Tyler write the worst season of the show, in my opinion. But then Season 4 comes along with these new writers who take it to the next level. Sisters did not do that Season 7. It started off with potential. But in the long run, it just feels like they took so many missteps because it didn't, the, the writing, the writers didn't seem to understand the characters. It just seemed like they watched maybe part of season one, but failed to realize that some, well, only a couple, Zach and Fatima had any sort of development. So on the one hand, where it seemed like they were really focusing on the sisterhood part of the group by having the w women interact a lot more even when it's just two or three of them at a time, they really drop the ball with the fan favorite Zach and Fatima, which is a major blow. So it's like if they only watch season one, it's like, well, y'all don't know starting late season two onward, Zach and Fatima were the it couple. They were the reason people even give a crap about the show in the first place. So you screwing over their relationship by having Zach being more team Zarin than team Zatima that turned off a lot of people. And unlike any seasons that Tyler wrote, aside from season one, which was the pilot season, we saw some of the lowest numbers for the show yet, which is very telling. So like I said, there's still a couple more weeks of bruh and one more week of sisters. But all I'm saying is based on what I've seen thus far, I would not be surprised that in a couple of weeks, I'll still hold on to my statement that as a whole season four of bruh, 
is better than season seven of Sisters, which is sad because it's 10 episodes versus 22. Now, the argument could be made that, well, Jeremy, think of it this way. Bruh has a very condensed season, so the pacing and all has to be good in order for it to make sense since it's only 10 episodes, which is all well and good. That's a fair point. But the thing is, Bruh has always had 20 plus episodes, though. So this is the first time. I don't know why. If this is indeed like the final season, if they opted just to, you know, Okay, we're just going to go out with a whimper instead of a bang. We'll give you like 10 episodes instead of the usual 20. Um, maybe if these 10 episodes do really well ratings wise, they'll renew it for a fifth season. I have no clue. But regardless, I just like the concise to the point writing. The characters are treating serious things very seriously, like the domestic violence storyline. And we're actually seeing characters deal with the consequences of their actions. And I like it. So if you've been watching Bruh season four, then you can relate to what I'm saying. Also, check out my reviews. I got an entire bruh playlist. I've reviewed every episode so far. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But hey, even if um you don't think that bruh season four is better than sisters. Well, no, I honestly couldn't tell why you would say a majority of the fan base has said this is their least favorite sister season. So I wouldn't be surprised if a majority of people agree with me here that bruh is better this season. So. With that being said, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.